Hello everyone, I'm back for another review. And this time we're I'm reviewing the Playrail S25 EH500 and uh, I got the and uh, and uh, my sister got it for me on Amazon for my birthday in case if anyone's wondering so yeah but before we do let's take a look at the box um, the front of it has the picture of the engine in real life and these these images and uh, the top part all of it in Japanese so yeah I don't I can't read very well the back part from Tamigatomi, the other side, another real life picture, or probably it's the same, and here's the back, it's just to show you how to uh, put a battery in, as as there's little construct the instructions in the back. There's always not backup boxes, so yeah. Alright, let's see if we can let's open this up and see what it is. Sorry about that. Um, let's get back to what we're doing. All right. We open the box now. Um, Here is oh yeah, I guess it's one of the new chassis I mean they use the same chassis as you can definitely tell it's the side one ones. See? And I guess uh, they just like different chassis or something like yeah, and just to make sure you don't hurt yourself or something, as you can definitely see in this instruction. Alright, now... Um, I'm guessing this is one of the versions with this kind of drop unit, but um, in case you really want to know, I think Noah, aka like D H D E or Hans, Heinz, Danish Engine Twenty Two has one of these. 
actually it's like a C has the one for a C battery in case you, in case if you're wondering. I might link his channel in the description. Uh, and also um All right. First up is the cargo car. Cargo car. You know the ones that uh that and that take off it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Yeah. You can also like remove these two box these two tanker things. Yeah. Whoops. And uh it looks great and it's kinda cool. This is like my second actually this is my second Japanese engine, my first being my that uh that C sixty one twenty steam locomotive. And yeah, I think it looks great. This is actually one of my first ever times I own a Japanese rolling stock. If you really want, it, it's quite different from like the British and American ones. Yeah. See? Very different. It looks pretty good. Alright, let's get the rest on there. And. Here is the back unit. It's just a, it's just a unit un, un, and the unit and and it's not motorized, as you can definitely tell. And it looks pretty good, and it has pretty good details, and it looks pretty great. Well, I mean there is a sticker, so but it's fine, and it looks pretty good. And it's actually pretty look great. I mean, I don't know if it's like blue red or regular red or something, but I think this is one of the versions that I'm not sure. Besides, it looks great. And <clears throat> and main engine itself and just same sticker but it's fine um this is actually pretty good and I never had any of these kinds of engines before this is kind of ironic I never had these kinds of engines before I think they look great I think they look amazing and pretty cool this is actually my second one as I said before my second Japanese engine from, I mean, I kind of like it. It looks pretty cool. It actually looks like the real life locomotive. Just like my C62, I mean, 6120 class Japanese steam engine. And it looks pretty great. 
I might give it a 10 out of 10. It looks pretty well, and it looks pretty good. But, I'm just going to check and see if it runs or not. But, let's see. And, uh, wait, I think it might be two speed, but I'm not sure. But, hang on. Huh. It's quite odd that... Okay, I know I shouldn't say that. should tell you guys something. Um, these are kind of different than the other chassis like the Thomas engines use. And these chassis are kind of cool. And, I guess, because, well, apart from the usual, like, they have the usual three holders, but it's a, it, the front, it's a bit different, like, like, like the St. Constance have these kinds of motors, I think. Yeah, if you know, you know, and looks pretty good. I might do some details to, on it. I mean, maybe? I'm not sure, but I might do some details on it. I'm not sure. I, uh, I might do some details on this thing, but maybe? Hey, it runs pretty well and pretty smoothly. And yeah, it looks pretty good. And it runs pretty well. And let's see if it runs on the tracks. So I might give this a like I said before, a 10 out of 10 because it's an amazing model and I think it looks, I think you should pick it up for a good price to be able to find it on Amazon or some other sites, but that's none. But yeah, if you really want this model, you can just buy it on Amazon for a good price, I guess. And also thanks to my sister, if you really want to know. My sister got it for me for my birthday, so thanks to her. And to all the rest of my family members who got some, my birthday gifts. So, yeah. Alright. Like I said before, I might link Noah's channel and some other people's channel in the description. So, don't worry. And I will worry. But, enough wasting time. Let's see if we can run on the tracks. Alright. Let's see if it runs.
Well, guys, uh, it was a success. The, the test one was a success. The test one was great. Um, it runs pretty well on the tracks. Pretty good. Anyway, like I said before, I will give this engine a 10 out of 10. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will see you guys next time. Alright, goodbye and farewell. And farewell. Hope you guys doing have a great day. And also, happy anniversary. Anyways, and I hope you guys have a great, awesome day. See you around.